you. Well, it is Military Appreciation Day here at the fair. Yeah, it's a time to say thank you to all of the men and women who have served or are currently serving our country. You can find all kinds of tributes on the, to the military on the fairgrounds today. At Dan Patch Park, more than 50 different groups that support the military were on hand. They were there to offer support in a number of different areas. That was just uh, the start of what we found out here today. Rich Chapman spent some time with some of his fellow brothers and sisters who have served, and he joins us now with that. Hi, Reg. Frank and Amelia, it was like a big family reunion for all who served. Military Appreciation Day is a day at the fair that all veterans look forward to. It's a day to remember, reflect, and honor those who served, as well as those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> The presentation of this symbol of freedom brings all veterans to their feet. On this day, their service to country is celebrated at the great Minnesota get-together. It's a bittersweet kind of day. The highlight, more than 50 educational and military-connected booths with resources available for all who served. It's here they learn of benefits they've earned through their service and how to get them. A lot of our veterans don't get an opportunity for this type of appreciation and for the resources out here that are available to them. And this is just an opportunity for us to give back. It's also a day when many remember their time in service and those who served with them. Just got lucky and it kept messing me. Don Halverson was a light weapons platoon leader during World War II. For this 99-year-old Minnesota native, today is his favorite day at the fair. It warms his heart to see so many service members, but it also helps him deal with the pain of thinking about the troops he lost along his journey. Oh, and I had a platoon of 40 guys and I had five left. We went from there, nothing better. Went up to Anzio for four months and broke out there up to Rome, Pisa, and Florence, Italy, and North Apennines, and Po Valley to the best day of my life, May 2nd, when we got the Swiss border and the war ended. For all gathered here on this Military Appreciation Day, the true appreciation is for the opportunity to serve this great country. Uncle Sam said he wanted me, he got me. In the when I ask Halverson how he stays upbeat after all he has been through, he says... Stop at the VFW to get a little whiskey water, it's a preservative. <laughs> Halverson says his life is proof. Being surrounded by comrades and family is what helps all who served get through it. I'll just enjoy today, there's no guarantee on tomorrow. I tell you, I follow directions well, so I guess I have to go to VFW, get a little whiskey and water to uh, keep me going. But in just a few short months, in five months, that young man will be 100 years old. He says it just warms his heart to see so many of his comrades being appreciated here at the State Fair. Frank and Leah. Yeah, he was great, Reg. Thank you. And, and Reg, real quickly, what, what was your rank when you uh, left the military? I was Sergeant Chapman back right. in the day. First Thank you for your service, yes, definitely. Sergeant Chapman.